For us, the New Hampshire's Merrimack Valley, the Merrimack River has always been an important feature of our community. The river has historically provided transportation, communication, and resources for the valley's early settlers, and in the present day provides drinking water and electricity for communities throughout Massachusetts and New Hampshire. However, the river faces a problem. It experiences water pollution and excess levels of nutrients, especially phosphorus from municipal wastewater and runoff. Excess phosphorus causes blooms of blue-green algae, also known as cyanobacteria. These cyanobacteria prove harmful when in contact with humans and limit the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water for native plants and animals. Our team at Merrimack Valley High School decided to work to combat these issues and spoke to a contact at the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services to learn more. So when you have less oxygen, you have less insects, less fish, and you could get to a system that's essentially dead because it doesn't have enough oxygen to support aquatic life. Eventually, we developed an idea for a solution. Shelby, an aquatic robot that filters phosphorus from the surrounding water and releases clean water back into the environment. Powered by a small battery, Shelby is able to traverse water via DC motors and a controller. Its turtle-like shell is made out of recycled plastic and the PVC pipe that forms Shelby's body is fully recyclable. Furthermore, the greenhouse emissions from Shelby's operation are minimal. Water passes through the foam phosphate filters located around Shelby's body and interacts with bagged resin designed to absorb phosphate in the interior. As Shelby moves, phosphate accumulates in the filters while the surrounding water becomes cleaner. By applying biology, chemistry, robotics, environmental engineering, and statistics, we were able to create a working prototype of Shelby. We created Shelby first by designing and printing its shell, building the frame, controller, and thruster, installing the filtration system, and setting up our testing tank. After that, we began our trials. We placed Shelby in a tank full of 40 gallons of water with three quarter grams of phosphorus-based fertilizer added in order to simulate the conditions of the Merrimack River. We measured the transmittance, which is the amount of light that can pass through a material, and the absorption, which is the amount of light that a material can absorb, of the water in the tank at multiple 20 minute intervals. All of our trials exhibited a significant increase in transmittance and decrease in pollution as the time passed. Based on the results from our trials, Shelby was able to effectively filter phosphorus from the water. While phosphorus pollution affects many bodies of water throughout New Hampshire, it is also becoming an increasingly dangerous problem all over the world. New studies find that as many as 1.62 million tons of phosphorus are emitted into freshwater bodies per year worldwide, and this number is only projected to grow. Shelby has the potential to be expanded upon and deployed in bodies of water everywhere which would help to promote human health and the flourishing of wildlife around the world.